Autism or Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD refers to a broad range of conditions characterized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, speech, and nonverbal communications. Indicators of autism usually appear by age of 2 or 3. Some associated development delays can appear even earlier and often it can be diagnosed as early as 18 months. People with ASD may communicate, interact, behave, and learn in ways that are different from most other people. So hi everyone. So as all of you know, our group is doing an interview on the topic of autism. Here's with me, Wanzaini Abu Bakar, one of the lecturers in UniKL Mastech. The reason our group acknowledged Puan Zaini as our interviewee is because she is a mother of an autism kid, aged 7 years old, with a severe instinct. Hi Madam, Hi. how are you? I'm okay, Alhamdulillah. Okay, um, I speak uh, from my experience. So based on my experience, so in Malaysia, uh, but uh, generally, globally, there is no medical test or blood test or whatsoever that can confirm uh, the diagnosis of ASD. So the diagnosis at the moment is depend on um, parents' experience with the kid as well as uh, the interview between the parents and the doctors as well as observation done by the doctors mm -hmm. um, in like interview session so from there they will use um, questionnaires called m chart mm -hmm. and another questionnaire called dsm dsm5 okay, okay. to diagnose a uh, kid with asd I see. Yeah. So since yeah. there is no medical test to diagnose yeah. autism spectrum disorder, yeah. doctors and parents should be aware of the child's mental and physical development, For such sure. as speaks, behaves, and that are their moves. Yeah. Okay. Basically, when the parents uh, hear the diagnosis from the doctors. Um, it's quite a shock for us uh, to accept the yeah. diagnosis because yeah um, because every parent uh, would like to see their child uh, develop um, very healthy yeah. with yeah. no symptom so once the diagnosis is there parents it's okay to feel like maybe you feel guilty you feel very sad you feel in denial mm -hmm. you feel angry you you feel depressed but at the end once you accept the diagnosis and you in in other words red yeah. so you need to plan the um, therapy as well as the um, planning for school for, as well as therapies for the kid. So parents should seek for help and mm -hmm. seek for and they need to explore what are the uh, centre for early intervention that mm -hmm. are available at their, at their place. So they need to go uh, to send their children or send their kids with ASD to therapies, to see therapies, especially language therapies, as well as um, occupational therapy, 
to um, tackle their repetitive behavior. So all the symptoms that include in ASD, like repetitive behavior, lack of speech, um, maybe they have like uh, ability to hurt themselves, self, uh, self, meaning self abusive. Mm -hmm. So all those um, behaviors that are harm to them harm to themselves need to cater as early as possible so parents should send their children with ASD to uh, therapies okay so as uh, madam mentioned just now there are a few benefits of early intervention yes so uh, it can help to improve their mental emotion and physical throughout the development Yes. These kids are also more likely to gain essential social skills and react better in society. Yep. Some children with autism can make so much progress yep. that they are no longer on the autism spectrum when yes. they are older and yep. help to stop problematic behaviour from becoming a habit as age increases. Yeah. Every parent like, uh, expect that they children with autism later in life can actually take care of themselves at least they can um, do simple things like prepare food for themselves mm. like uh, take care of the of their hygiene by themselves 100 percent dependent on their yeah, parents yeah not okay. more at least simple uh, chores Basically. house chores yeah life skills, simple life skills. Actually, um, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. um, first, yeah, obviously we will having a stage of in denial, yes. having a stage of grief, having a stage of very sad, uh, not knowing what to do. So once we accept, we reload, then we seek for help. We go online so much <laughs> so yeah. that we can read and learn from uh, the the right person meaning we go to seek help from doctors from therapies from uh, society meaning we have group of parents that um, have the same problem so we share experience uh, then from there at least we know that we are not alone in this yeah. battle so that yeah um, so far so good Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Okay so uh, some helpful tips I found while doing my research on how parents can handle their stress <laughs> so firstly uh, it is important for parents to realize that their autistic children can also provide them with many unique joys yeah uh, life with an autistic children uh, is not all stress and hardships. Yeah. And I'm sure Madam will agree with that. Yeah. And secondly, consistently take care of themselves both physically and emotionally. For example, when having a hard time figuring out how to deal with your child's need, uh, then the parents should reach out to family, friends mm -hmm. or someone that can understand what they are going through. Yeah. Okay, um, so basically, uh, ASD is just that um, having uh, different, uh, like computers, they are having different system. Okay, so we have Mac, we have Windows, and like ASD, different. They are totally different uh, configuring system. So they, they not. Uh, just they're not disabled but they have different ability yeah. they're just a, a person with way. different abilities yeah Hopefully, through this video people would stop having prejudice towards autistic children and children with autism are very colorful they are often very beautiful and Autism awareness is important as it will create a better understanding and acceptance of this disorder among the public. So we need to raise the public awareness of autism spectrum disorder 
to help improve the quality of life of autistic children and their families. Autism is not a tragedy, but ignorance is. Every child is a blessing. Not to forget, parents of autistic children deserve all the support and help they can handle. These children are a gift that should be taken care of and treated equally by the society. That's all from our group. I hope everyone learned something from our video. Thank you.